<clears throat> Friends, speaking about uh, one subject, disfellowshipping, I have wrote down 16 things that the Watchtower or the Kingdom Hall Elders Judicial Committee will disfellowship you the first chance they get in a judicial hearing. A so-called uh, uh, appeal never works. That is a charade. It does not work. It's only there to make you think you can still fight back and get it overturned. That's not so. I never knew of any case yet. Never heard of it. When they disfellowship you, you're going to have to sit there for six months, maybe a year, in that back seat where people can walk by you and look at you like you're some kind of idiot sitting there while they walk right by you as if you are dead. What a cult. Now, one one thing that uh, they will not disfellowship you for, yet it is the most disgraceful act in the world. But they won't disfellowship you for that. But here are the things they will disfellowship you for. Drunkenness. If you say you were drinking in moderation, no, you were drunk. And drunken is one thing that Jehovah condemns. If you are a greedy person, back to the back room, judicial, committing, judicial committee will disfellowship you. Uncleanness in any form whether it be morals or dress or whatever, they can disfellowship you, and they will. They can disfellowship you for stealing. Absolutely. Now we know stealing is not a good thing. But they do it all the time up in Brooklyn. But we won't get into that. Now, loose conduct, whatever that is, they can disfellowship you for that. And that disgraceful word, independent thinking, don't even think about it. You're done. If you independently think something wrong about the channel of God. You're done. Gambling? Absolutely. You get caught gambling, even buying a lottery ticket, you're done. You're just fellowship. Taking a blood transfusion? They can just follow you, ship you for that too. See? But now we know they all have a thing out now where you can take blood parts if it doesn't bother your conscience. Well, why can't a man be greedy and not bother his conscience? Why can't a man commit adultery and not bother his conscience? See, we could go on and on with this nonsense of your conscience. What bothers you don't bother me. See, it's a loophole. Pornea is another thing they can disfellowship you for, and they will disfellowship you. Pornea could be any act of sexual immorality, pornography, or whatever. They will disfellowship you for that. 
And they also can disfellowship you for even questioning anything about the so-called truth. You're out of here. Voting. Don't dare vote. Some people do, and but they can just fellowship you for that. But we really don't know, because some of times they'll say, well, if your conscience will let you vote, then we see nothing wrong with that. See, it's always trying to tell you everything to do. What time to get up, what time to go to bed, what to eat, what not to eat, how to walk, how to run, how to drive, how to dress, how to think. This is all they do. Do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts. That's the truth. Violence. They can just fill up you, ship you for violence. If you lay a hand on someone in a fit of anger, you're out of here. Smoking. They can just fill up you for smoking right away. You're out of there. And even not providing for your family as a father who's supposed to be head of the house. If he don't provide for his family, he can be disfellowship. Especially if the wife pursues it. He's out of there. Now there's one other one called lying. If you're caught lying to an elder or lying to anyone in the kingdom hall and they find out, you can and will be disfellowship. But there's one. There's one thing you can do as a Lord Jehovah Witness. Although it is the most detestable thing in the world. They won't just fellowship you for it. And it is molestation of children. Now isn't that funny? How they can just fellowship you for drunkenness, greediness, uh, uncleanness, stealing, loose conduct, independent thinking, gambling, uh, pornea, questioning the watchtower, voting, violence, lying, gambling. They can disfellowship you and will disfellowship you for that. But they will not disfellowship you if you're a pedophile. For you can prey on little children and get them to doing things that they don't know nothing about and then are scared to tell. And their favorite excuse is they'll call the victim in and let them face the victim. Did you molest Mary? The pedophile talks back and says, No, I did not. Case closed. Case closed. Their way out of that is, Well, you got to have two witnesses. Well, I'll guarantee you, you didn't hardly have any witnesses and all the other 15 things that I listed. There ain't no witness to stealing or uh, uh, gambling. I can gamble and no, no one would ever know it. There ain't no witness for that, but they hear about it. They can just fellowship you. But you notice the pedophile can get away with it. And when the the uh, the person that does the act on the child, if he does not admit it, 
he's home free. And the elder will say, we'll just have to wait on Jehovah. Yeah? We'll just have to wait on Jehovah. Well, you know, it is a pedophile's paradise then. See? But through it all, friends, of them having a way out of this here, being a pedophile, and not being prosecuted for it, could it be, could it be that a bunch of wicked old men that craves children for sexual reasons enforces the two witness rule. Could it be? Could it be? We don't know. It could be. It protects them, don't it? I never heard of, of a pedophile getting uh, this fellowship as long as he denies it. See? So, friends, I'm going to close this here now. But I want you to remember all the things you can be disfellowship for. You can be thrown out. But there's one thing you can get away with. It's being an evil man that likes little boys and girls. See? If you do that, they'll let us all wait on Jehovah. Wait on Jehovah. Yeah, sure. We know all about that. It's just like Armageddon. It never comes, does it? Maybe we should wait on Jehovah for that too. Instead of you people always setting dates of when God will end this world. Wait on Jehovah for that. Okay? Thank you, friends. Good night. God bless.